In this study, we set out to determine by which mechanisms HCV-specific CD8 T cells kill HCV-infected hepatocytes. And we used for this analysis a novel immunological model that we published a few years ago, where we use a human hepatoma replicon cell line transfected with an HLA2 gene that allows the endogenous processing and presentation of HCV peptides on the surface to HCV-specific CD8 T cells. Previously, we have shown that inhibition of HCV replication is primarily mediated by non-cellulitic effector functions, for example, interferon gamma. Here we ask now which mechanisms are responsible for the cytolytic effector functions. To address this important point, we first analyzed which effector pathways are able to kill these hepatocytes. So we tested FAS, we tested uh, perforin, we per tested TRAIL and found that these human hepatoma cell lines were only sensitive to the perforin pathway. Specifically, we used streptolysine O and Crenzyme B as a marker for this experiment. Interestingly, the same effect were also observed with primary hepatocytes, clearly showing that this seems to be a general mechanism. So next we ask whether in co-cultures with HCV-infected CD8 T cells, these CD8 T cells indeed use perforin to kill hepatocytes. Thus we perform co-cultures where we blocked in some experiments perforin by, for example, EGTA, and clearly found that killing of hepatocytes can be significantly inhibited when we block perforin suggesting that T-cells indeed use this uh, perforin as a primary pathway to kill hepatocytes. However, in a human chronic viral infection, virus-specific CD8 T-cells only express low amounts of perforin. Those perforin cannot really contribute to killing in chronic viral infection. This was an interesting finding and what might be a responsible mechanism. When we looked at the expression of perforin on all T cells, we found that perforin expression is really highest on late differentiated T cells. Interestingly, however, HCV specific CD8 T cells are stuck in an early differentiation stage. Thus, the low expression of perforin on HCV specific CD8 T cells really seems not to be a, a mechanism of T cell failure, but rather caused by the early differentiation stage these T cells are in. Thus, so we can conclude from the study that virus-specific CD8 T cells are able to kill HCV-infected hepatocytes per by perforin, but that this pathway, however, is limited in chronic viral infection by the low expression of, of perforin by HCV-specific CD8 T cells. So what are the therapeutic implications of the study? These results clearly suggest that when you want to have a successful virus-specific immune response, you need T-cells that are able to produce interferon gamma, but also that express high levels of perforin. So, for example, for future vaccine trials, it will be important to try to induce these multifunctional virus-specific CD8 T-cells. And what is the relevance for other viral infections? Clearly, when we compare to HPV, it will be interesting to see whether virus-specific CD8 T cells targeting hepatitis B use similar pathways compared to hepatitis C. It's interesting to note that in the case of hepatitis B, an important role of TRAIL has been suggested in some studies, especially using NK cells as effector cells. Those in our laboratory currently work is ongoing to study the mechanisms virus-specific CD8 T cells in the case of HPV are using to kill HPV in infected hepatocytes to see whether the use of perforin is a general phenomena of um, virus-specific CD8 T cells or rather specific to HCV-specific CD8 T cells. Both I think there are some important questions that need to be addressed in the near future.